एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टुडे आई विल रीड चैप्टर फोर इन द स्टोरी एज आई टोल्ड यू सो कीप वॉचिंग टिल एंड टू अंडरस्टैंड इट प्रॉपरली सो चैप्टर फोर हैनरी जैक गैस्प्ड एज एनी हेल्ड आउट हर हैंड ओ ब्रदर शी वॉज ऑलवेज ट्राइंग टू मेक फ्रेंड्स विथ एनिमल्स बट दिस वॉज गोइंग टू फार Don't get too close to him, Annie," Jack shouted. But Annie touched the patterandan's chest. She stroked his neck. She was talking to him. What in the world was saying? She saying. Jack took a deep breath. Okay, he would go down too. It would be good to examine the creature. Take notes like a scientist. Jack started down the rope ladder. When he got to the ground, Jack was only a few feet away from the creature. The creature stared at Jack. His eyes were bright and alert. He's soft, Jack," said Annie. "He feels like Henry." Jack snorted. "He's not a dog, Annie." "Feel him, Jack," said Annie. Jack didn't move. Don't think, Jack. Just do it. Jack stepped forward. He put out his arm very cautiously. He brushed his hand down to the creature's neck. Interesting. A thin layer of fuzz covered the parrandan's skin. Soft, huh? said Annie. Jack reached into his backpack and pulled out a pencil and a notebook. He wrote, "Fuzzy skin." "What are you doing?" asked Annie. "Taking notes," said Jack. "We are probably the best people in the world to ever see a real parrandan." Jack looked at the parrandan again. The creature had a bony chest. on top of his head the chest was longer than jack's arm i wonder how smart he is jack said very smart said annie don't count on it said jack his brains probably no bigger than a bean no he's very smart i can feel it said annie i'm going to call him henry jack wrote in his notebook small brain jack looked at the creature again maybe he is mutant he said the creature turned his head and he laughed he is not mutant jack well what's he doing here then where is this place said jack and he learned close to the parrandan Do you know where are Henry? Where we are, Henry? She asked softly. The creature fixed his eyes on Annie. His long jaws were opening and closing, like a giant pair of scissors. Are you trying to talk to me, Henry? Asked Annie. Forget it, Annie. Jack wrote in his notebook, mouth like scissors. Did we come to a long time ago, Henry? Asked Annie. Is this a place from long ago? Suddenly, she gasped. Jack. He looked up. Annie was pointing toward the hill. On top stood a huge dinosaur. Chapter finish. Hope you like this chapter. And this chapter has a mystery. So. I think you are too excited to read chapter 5. But rule is a rule. I will read chapter 5 tomorrow. Till that. Bye bye.